leaf miners. I can't wait to tell you more about them. They are little creatures that create largely cosmetic issues with your beets and Swiss chard, um, but if they're to such an extent, they can very significantly decrease the quality of your leaves. And so here are a few strategies, friends, so that you can reduce the impact of your leaf miners in your life. So let's back it up and talk a tiny bit about leaf miner biology. There are thousands of species of things that mine leaves that are considered leaf miners and lots of different things. Mostly they're flies and moths and they lay their eggs on leaves and then as their larvae grow they jump inside the tissues in between the top and bottom of your leaf and literally just eat all of that juicy yummy sweetness in between leaving just those transparent tops and bottoms of the leaves and they start small of course they're these tiny little white cylindrical eggs and when they hatch their holes are initially very small and as those larvas gr larvae grow their holes become much, they're much, much larger. You can kind of see in this leaf, there are some smaller holes um, and some smaller munchings. And as it, as it evolves, they just, it looks like the entire leaf has become just skeletonized. And this is certainly an extreme case of it, which some years are better than others. This is a very extreme year with our very hot weather um, early on. And so here's the thing. So the female will overwinter and then and she'll emerge April, May, and she will lay between 200 and 400 eggs dispersed on anything in your beet, Swiss shard, anything in that beta vulgaris genus species. And a few days later, they will hatch and they will jump into your leaf and they will start to just mine out that those chloroplast cells and all of that sweet juicy yumminess um, they will do that for depending on the temperature if it's really warm in as short as 15 days they'll pupate if it's a little colder less than 55 58 degrees they can be mining your leaves for more than three weeks and at this point where the little larva has finally is ready to pupate it cuts a slit in the leaf, falls down to the ground, and will bury itself in the ground, and will take about two weeks to pupate. And when it emerges as its fly, as its moth, as an adult, um, it will you know, mate and she'll lay two to 400 more eggs. Um, so you can have several successions of successive generations of leaf miners in a season. So what can you do to prevent leaf miners? The very best thing you can do when you notice that there is any kind of leaf miner damage, remove those leaves. Remove them promptly. And if you put them on your compost, don't just leave them there on top of the compost. Bury them so they will die. You can also just, just whatever you do, destroy them and get them away from your garden so that they won't be able to pupate and fulfill their life cycle down in the soil and jump up again. Another thing you can do um, I love these spring steel hoops and in the spring, earlier in the spring, we certainly had row cover, the floating row cover um, on these at night, but not during the day mostly. And so if we wanted to actually exclude insects like the leaf miners, um, we would have left it on all the time and that would have prevented the leaf miner fly from coming in and laying her eggs on our beautiful Swiss shard leaves. Yeah, as you can see, we have quite a serious infestation and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to harvest all of these leaves that I just, I want to make sure that all of these lovely leaf miners are finding their way out of our garden. And it's true, I am not going to eat these leaves, but fast facts, I love Swiss shard stems even more than I love the leaves. And so although I will strip these leaves and throw them away deep turned inside our compost, I will totally take these home and eat them and relish every morsel. So those are, that is what you can do to possibly circumvent the leaf miners in your life. Good luck friends and hopefully you won't have them nearly as bad because they're really very cosmetic and not a big deal until their populations explode and certain years they explode. This is one. I hope yours 
it's not one for you. <laughs>